Tony Avenia here again with another tutorial for you. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do cuts and gradients. And this is the style that we did when I worked at Wildstorm. I'm working in channels like the last time. Um, and we'll be mo mainly working just on the background layer, but okay, we'll be actually we'll be making layers um, as we go, but flattening it back down to the background layer again. So first thing I'm going to do here is select the area I want to color, which is going to be the Homelander's um, face. And then I'm going to go Image, oh sorry, Layer, New, Layer via Copy, or Command J on the Mac. Um, once I have that on a layer, I'm going to lock the transparency here. And uh, this is actually a neat trick that Mark Sweeney taught me. Um, it's great for working in the style because you, I can color right over um, the area that actually has color already down, but I can't affect the transparent uh, part of this. So once I'm ready to go here, I'm just gonna go in here and start making my selections. Now, um, here you really have to know what you want to do before you do it. So I'm gonna start out with this side of the face, and uh, I want to have the light come in from. I should actually look. Yeah. See, here's the the shadow is going this way. So that means the lights come in from this direction. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, start making my selections. Uh, here. And once I have this first selection that I want to make, I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, gradient tool, um, set it to a radial gradient, and screen. And I'll probably start out at about 30% uh, opacity on that. I'm going to take this orangish color here and just drag this over and start to make a light. And I unticked my lock transparency so I'll do that again with that locked and we're only affecting the area that has the color just that so once I have my first uh, bits of that then I can go in here and start building up uh, a little bit I'm going to start with the cheek and the nose. Just adding definition as I go. And the uh, thing that you really want to do here when you're making the cuts is overlap them when possible so you don't just have a banding type of thing going on and it adds a little bit more uh, makes everything look a little more interesting I think now this is a style that I worked in for years but I just never really felt a hundred percent comfortable with I, I don't know it just wasn't really me didn't fit me but you know occasionally I'll still do a book uh, help out with something for Wildstorm and you know you know maybe they are using this style so it's good to know and really the more styles that you can learn how to do the more tools you have in your toolbox and you know you can incorporate I can use my airbrushing style that I prefer and add cuts here and there and it really helps so 
So once I've done this, the face, it takes shape. Um, then again, I'm going to go in with my shadows in here instead. Oh, I can actually use the pencil tool here. Um, go back with my normal color opacity set at 100 on the pencil and I can just pencil in shadows. Um, you know, another thing to keep in mind when you're working with um, Photoshop is you can zoom in as much as you like, but don't get caught up in zooming in, you know, too close all the time. Um, sometimes you really miss the the bigger picture. So, you know, it's good when you're working on it to to work in as close as possible and then pull back a little bit sometimes just so you can see, make sure things make sense and your uh, coloring is really taking shape. Um, sometimes there's spots like this where um, you know, you have hard lines where two shapes overlap, but you know, maybe you don't think it's quite um, the way you'd like it to be. So you can take you know, maybe the blur tool, just kind of soften that up. And some people like the smudge tool. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter, whatever your preference is. There's a million different ways to get the same result. Um, in Photoshop, you, know, you can talk to 10 different colorists and they'll all have a different way to reach the same solution.